So Topps recently sent emails out uh, letting everyone know that their digital trading card game Topps Bunt has been updated for 2015. They tell me that they've added many new features and have a sleek new feel that I will love. I've been making fun of this app and the very idea of collecting virtual cards for years, but I wanted to give Topps Bunt another try to review it for an upcoming episode of the Trading Card Preservation Society. I'll spare you the monotony of downloading and installing the app. That went well. Trying to set up an account didn't go so well, though. Time and time again, it would ask me to pick my favorite team, and when I would, I would get, I would get the screen that I tweeted out the other day. I've sped up the action of this video to demonstrate how frustrating using this app is. All these fails are in a 12-minute period um, of recording, and I probably spent another 15 minutes before picking up the camera to begin with. I'm using a Google Nexus 7 tablet, so it's a pretty powerful tablet, and obviously I'm on Android instead of iOS. Whatever I do, it will inevitably crash, and I run a lot of games on this tablet. At this point, I even try restarting the tablet to demonstrate that that's not causing the problems. And we're back after doing the restart. It takes a little bit here to reload, but We'll soon be back to having it crash and crash again. At this point, I'm just trying to add my photo, my avatar photo, to the, my profile. And it crashes and crashes and crashes. Um, at one point, I will admit, I was able to get one card, a, a one-pack card, which actually turned out to be a Mike Trout, so, you know... Yay, I guess, but um, since then I've never been able to add a person, and never been able to, even like, you would think like the one thing an app would do successfully every time would be to do a purchase. That's the whole effing point of all this, is for me to buy things from you, and I cannot, I cannot buy a thing. Um, they had promotions where I could get coins i guess we use them to buy packs on opening day there was um promotions where i could get it i could not you know go through the process of having them add those promotional credits for using it on opening day they even had like we're sorry credits or coins saying that their scoreboard thing doesn't work well that's great i can't <laughs> sorry I play The Simpsons Tapped Out, which is a huge game in terms of size for a mobile game. And as you'll see later on, it runs just fine. I don't think I found, I didn't think I would find a company, you know, that offers worse support than EA, but I hadn't considered Tops entering the app market either. 